Hello ladies and gentlemen, HH Aviation here and today guys, World Update 4 is out and I believe it's out a week earlier which is absolutely amazing, thank you Asobo. So today what we're going to do is, is we're going to look at the trailer and then we're going to look at the airports which have been uh, improved and handcrafted and then we'll look at them before and after in the sim. As you can see I've not downloaded it yet because we're going to look at the before and afters. So let's get into watching the trailer. Okay, here we go. Microsoft Flight Simulator Nordic's World Update trailer. Let's get watching. Okay, a beautiful sunset to start us off. It's really nice. Sorry, pause. Right, I know this is really soon, and you may, go, you guys may find this really dramatic, but I'm looking here, Lego house, and I'm not gonna. My, I am like a massive fan of Lego, like I had Lego as a child, I still have it. So this is cool, I'm going to check this out in the sim. I wasn't going to check out the scene, uh, like the little landmarks, but I'm checking this out because this looks cool. I've got to check this out. Anyway, sorry, moving on. Nice, got a few fancy castles. Copenhagen. Oh, we've got a football stadium. That's quite cool considering the Euros. That bridge looks pretty cool too, so like fly pass and stuff under. Helsinki in Finland. Got some nice woods. That could be pretty cool. Another airport. We'll definitely have a look at that. That bridge looks pretty cool and detailed. I like that. Fair play. That looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm definitely going to have to do a flight here. Oh, we've got some rainbows. I know rainbows are already on sim, but they still look really good. Iceland. That looks pretty awesome. This all looks so cool. Another airport that we can go and check out. Ooh, I want to know what that is. That looks really cool. As you can see, the sky is calling, guys. Right, I'm just going to pause it there. That that looks really cool. I'm really excited for this uh, world update. We're definitely going to have some places to fly now in our streams. So let's get into the sim and let's have a look at what they look like before and after. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're on the ground at, I believe, Stockholm Airport. And as you can see, the airport is fairly default. You can tell where all the gates and jetways are, and you can tell the terminal buildings and stuff like that. However, the ground textures and, um, like, ground markings look a bit faint. The grass looks fairly unlike smooth and a bit iffy on the eyes, that might just be my settings though, um, but from my settings this looks a bit iffy on the eyes. The runway, eh, the runway looks okay, not the best. My add on there, can, you can see the tyre smoke, but um, sorry, like the rubber where the tyres would melt. But the airport and just like the surrounding area looks very basic, very, you can tell where all the gates are, but uh, it doesn't look that great so let's have a look at what it looks like with the world update okay ladies and gentlemen so we're on the ground at stockholm airport in the updated version with the uh, world update 5 version and as you can see the terminals look a lot nicer as you can see there's some glass interior you've got some poles here yeah i'm just going to call it poles uh i think this may be the AT atc tower so that looks quite nice you got uh, some nice hotel and stuff like that outside, so you get a lot more of an outside experience as well. That looks really nice, to be fair. 
But yeah, so this already looks a lot nicer. The grass to me apparently looks a lot nicer. I feel I feel that might just be my settings that makes it not look uh, awfully amazing. The ground markings look a lot brighter, a lot more easy to find. And the jetways on this side actually have um, been coloured now. Previously they were just the same as the default over there. But this time they've actually been coloured red with the gates labelled on the side. Which is amazing. So this airport definitely has a massive improvement. Grand vehicles all look amazing. Um, yeah, this looks a lot better compared to what we saw. Got building site over there as well. Uh, airline hub, I believe that is. This just looks a lot nicer. The runway looks a lot smoother and stuff like that. This airport overall, I'd say, has improved greatly and looks a lot nicer, which is what we should see considering it's handcrafted. So, very well done on this airport. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, guys, now we're on the ground at Vasa Airport, I believe in Finland. And this airport looks like zero to none detail on a terminal building or anything. Um, I'm not sure if this airport contains jetways. If it does, there is none at all. Um, overall, this is very, very like minimal to no detail. The runway looks pretty good, though, compared to Stockholm, I believe. And, yeah, so this airport really doesn't look that great. Or at least that's very... Uh, interesting to fly to it looks uh, very basic and I'm hoping that with the world update it looks a lot better in the trailer it did so let's have a look at it okay ladies and gentlemen we're at Vassa airport in I believe Swin uh, Finland correction sorry and the airport already looks a lot better you can see the gates have been clearly marked out with like little circles where four I believe that we're at three and the terminal looks a lot nicer so as you can see a bit more detail on the terminal as you can see faster airport it looks it looks a lot better uh, I look more, a lot more appealing to fly to and it does look a lot nicer as the terminal as you can see over here is a lot more uh, appealing to look at rather than it just being a random one of those random Microsoft flight sim blocks with like the default lights and everything like that so this looks quite nice, definitely an improvement for the play again. Okay, so here we are in Zalvbad Airport. Sorry if I've pronounced that wrong and sorry if I've offended anybody. Uh, the airport looked pretty nice actually. The grey texture on the ground and the markings are really clear, smooth, really nice and like it just looks, it, I've got a really nice feel from this airport so hopefully the terminal buildings, I believe this is, over here looks a little bit nicer. But this airport looks really nice. I like the snow all around, obviously. This is in Norway. Runway 28 and everything like that looks quite nice. And the other ru runway number down there. Let's uh, try and see if we can spot it. Runway 10, I believe. I may be wrong. But the uh, airport looks really nice. And I'm quite interested to see if the terminal buildings look nicer when we... Uh, update it because that will be a really nice finishing touch and uh, this is looks like quite a nice little airport default um, the only problem really well not problem but the only improvement could be the terminal buildings but we'll have to see so let's go have a look okay ladies and gentlemen we're now on the updated Zalvalbard airport again sorry for pronounce that wrong um, and as you can see the terminal building which seems to be a theme with a lot of these updated airports and handcrafted airports now is a lot nicer, looks a lot cleaner. The windows and all oh, this solar panels. I think this might be solar panels on here, people. Looks a lot nice. Uh, and the textures and everything look amazing. And as you can see, we've got a nice little sign, which so they've really gone to attention of detail and even to the point of spiral stairs, which they didn't really have to do. All the signs on here. Not really gone into detail on the writing, but you get the gist. Apparently it seems to have snowed a lot more since we last looked at it, but it still looks fairly detailed. The runway, as you can see on the other end here, it's a lot snowier rather than just a grey tarmac, and it's a lot more dotted snow on the runway this end as well. So the theme here there seems to be a lot more snow and a nice bit of detail on the terminal, which is amazing.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so on our last airport, before uh, we have a look at them updated, we are at ISAF, something in Iceland. I'm not going to pronounce the name, I'll put it on screen. I don't want to, uh, I really don't want to mess up. Uh, as you can see, we are actually at an airport, and the thing that we spawned on at the moment, and I'm presuming jets definitely don't fly here, or at least not the Neos or anything bigger, um, we are actually on the runway. Now, as you can see, it's very minimal, the textures and stuff like that. So, I'm hoping there's a massive improvement in the update. From the trailer, it looks like there was. And from the trailer, I actually thought there would have been at least more detail to the parking than what there is now. of Just grass, pretty much. So, yeah, let's have a look at what this looks like updated. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, as you can see, we're not in the sim. We're on the trailer again. Um, this airport here seems to not want to load uh, for some reason. I've tried it about five times, my sim keeps crashing. So we're just going to have a little look at it from the trailer point of view. So as you can see, the runway looks very nicely detailed. Nice little sun glare coming in from over here. Nice little shed. Uh, I believe this is used for very light aircraft like this. Uh, that when I tried spawning in, there was a fuel box. And there was also a few things over here. So, yeah, very nice little airport. So, let's uh, check out one last airport, which I originally forgot to check before the update, but let's check it out now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and as you can see, we are here at Bornholm Airport. This is one we forgot to look at before, but we're here now. This airport looks very nice. I like the little buildings and stuff like that. And if we go over here towards, I believe, the main terminal, we've got a nice little sign, bit of detail. And it looks very good. I believe this is a fire station. And these are normally the things you with like sort of like slide type things you see at a fire station. Um, this yeah, this airport's quite nice. It looks like a really nice uh, place to travel to, really. So yeah, this has been all the airports. So let's check out the one last thing. Let's check out the Lego house. Okay, and last not but not least, the Lego house. So we're gonna get ready to fly. When I'm gonna do a bit of active pause and we're just gonna quickly fly away from this uh, let's find it quickly it said we spawned near it so let's just try and find it you guys are gonna come on an adventure with me to find the Lego house I clicked on the waypoint so I imagine it would be quite close by let's go up here make our camera settings a bit better while we try and find it, I suppose I better tell you. So, obviously, I hope you all are have and are enjoying this video. The reason I've not gone to every single waypoint is just because that video will be hours on end. However, if you guys do want to see something like that, then let me know. But at the moment, we're trying to find the Lego house, and the reason for that is this is yes, this is a waypoint. I've loved Lego ever since a small little child, so finding this would be pretty cool. So, I'll be with you once we find the house. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we found it. Turns out we are right there, and it's right here. This looks really cool. I really, really like this. They've got the, like, the little Lego banisters, little Lego bricks. This looks really cool. I really like this. But yeah, anyways, this has been World Update 5, before and after on the airports, and a little look at the Lego house. Sorry for not being able to show you that one airport in Iceland that kept crashing my sim, but I hope you all have enjoyed, and I will see you all on the next one. Stay safe.